Hey guys, this is Abhishek here and welcome to my channel 24 by 7 Tech. Today in this video, we are going to talk about a very lesser known bank in India, but it's Singapore's best bank and it's Asia's one of the safest bank. We're talking about DBS Bank, also known as Digibank. Sachin Tendulkar, he is the brand ambassador of Digibank in India. So you can be assured about the reliability, the safety and credibility of the bank. We'll also be discussing about how Digibank provides you better services and offers in comparison to other banks. I hope after watching this video, you're actually able to do some savings after opening a Digibank account. Without further ado, let's discuss about the top 7 reasons why you should open a Digibank account right now. Kiss for you. Reason number one, DBS Bank, they are offering you 7% quarterly rate of interest. Now if you compare the same with other banks, other banks they pay you normally anywhere between 4% to 6% and that too half yearly. So obviously in the case of DG Bank, you earn more interest because they're paying you 7% rate of interest which is higher than other banks and they're paying you after every 3 months, they're paying you interest after every 3 months in comparison to other banks who pay you interest after every six months. Also, uh, there is one more advantage in case of Digibank. You are earning 7% rate of interest for any amount. There is no minimum amount required to earn 7% rate of interest. But in case of other banks, you need to have um, an average of some balance for you to earn a higher rate of interest. For example, take uh, the, take the example of Kotek Mahindra Bank. They pay you 5.5% half yearly rate of interest. If your balance, if your monthly balance is less than a lakh rupee, and they offer you 6% rate of interest if your monthly average balance is above 1 lakh. So you have more advantage in case of Digibank, higher rate of interest. They're paying you after every three months in comparison to six months with respect to other banks and no minimum average balance required. You earn 7% rate of interest for a minimum, for any minimum amount. Okay, let me also show you a, a quick calculation what I have done to show you how 1 lakh rupee if you deposit, if you maintain a balance of 1 lakh rupee in your savings bank account how much you can earn through Digibank and how much you can earn through um, other bank. Here we have Digibank on the left hand side, other banks on the right hand side. With Digibank providing you 7% quarterly rate of interest, an amount of 1 lakh rupees deposited in your bank account for a duration of 1 year will give you an interest of rupees 7186. Whereas in case of other banks, let's say we take 5% average rate of interest. So, the interest earned after one year for an amount of 1 lakh rupees will earn you rupees 5063. So, it's pretty clear you're earning rupees 2123 more in case of Digibank. The reason being they're providing you higher rate of interest and they're providing you interest after every three months in comparison to other banks who are providing you lower interest rate and they're paying you after six months, not three months. Reason number two, uh, in case of Digibank, there is no minimum monthly balance required. What that means is you can open your Digibank account with as low as rupee one. Now, if you compare the same scenario with other banks, uh, most of the banks, they do attract penalties if you don't maintain a minimum balance. For example, in case of Canara Bank, they do have a minimum balance. In case of SPI, recently, they changed the minimum balance to rupees 5000. If you don't maintain the minimum balance, they will uh, charge you anywhere between 20 rupees to 100 rupees as penalty. In case of Digibank, no penalties as such. Reason number three, unlimited free ATM withdrawals. Now, in case of Digibank, what they are offering you is n number of ATM withdrawals from any other bank's ATM. But in case of other banks or most of the banks, there is a limit. You can use other banks ATM 
for maximum of five times a month. More than that, they, they charge you um, rupees 20 per transaction for every withdrawal. Case of Digibank, no such charges. Reason number four, zero maintenance fee. So I was actually very surprised when I got to know that Digibank, they don't charge you any yearly maintenance fee for the services what they're providing. So to reconfirm the same, I gave a call to their customer care number and spoke to one of their representative. So yes, they did assure me that uh, there are no yearly charges to maintain your account. There are no charges to use their debit card. There are no internet banking charges. There are no transaction charges. There are no hidden charges in general. Now, if you compare the same with other banks, I have my bank accounts at five other banks. They do charge me to use the, uh, their debit card once in a year. They do charge me, for example, Canada Bank. They do, they do even charge me for the transactions I make. When I transfer amount from my account to other account, they charge me rupees three per transaction. In case of Digibank, no charges as such. Reason number five. Digibank offers IMPS fund transfer by default. Now, IMPS, it's the fastest way to transfer money from one bank account to another bank account. And IMPS, with IMPS, you can transfer 24 by seven. In, with respect to any EFT, it's time bounded, but with respect to IMPS, you can transfer 24 by 7. You can add a pay in 2 minutes and transfer instantly. Now, Digibank has one more advantage. Uh, it has wallet-like features, what you have in case of free charge and Paytm. What I mean is, uh, if there is a person who has a Digibank account, you can transfer using their mobile number as well. Reason number 6. Digibank provides awesome cashbacks and offers. I shopped for more than 60,000 on Grofers during Republic Day and saved total of 18,000 out of which I made 6,000 saving just by using Digibank cashback offer. I used 4 Digibank accounts, mine, my parents and sisters to get a total cashback of 6,000 rupees. If you do lots of online shopping, buy movie tickets or hotels or order food online, Digibank is the bank to have because they offer lots of cash back. Reason number seven, you can open your Digibank account in less than five minutes. You don't have to go to the bank's branch or wait in long queue. You don't have to waste your time like that. You don't have to submit any of your documents to the bank. The process to open your Digibank account is completely paperless. I made a separate video on how to open your Digibank account in less than 5 minutes. You can find the link of the video in the description below. Those are the top 7 reasons why you would like to open a Digibank account. Let me tell you a couple of reasons also quickly. It's an international bank. so. If you are moving or traveling to any other country, you can still use Digibank services. You can make the payments in dollars or euro or the particular currency of that country. It's safe and secure. Your phone is like your ATM. They have a very good customer care service also. They have virtual assistant as well. Also, once your uh, Digibank account is active, uh, you'll get a complimentary coffee from CCD. That's pretty cool. Now, I've been using Digibank services from past 6 to 7 months and after being satisfied using their offerings, I really felt to let more people know about the bank and that is the reason I made this video. I don't see any other bank which provides you 7% rate of interest with no minimum balance, unlimited free ATM withdrawals, no maintenance fee, no yearly debit card charges or any other hidden charges at all. You're not paying a single rupee for the services they are providing. Banking is fast, safe and 24 by 7. Not to mention the awesome cash packs they provide you from time to time. Guys, this is a must have bank. This is my first video on YouTube. I hope you guys liked it. I aim to add more videos on topics which are worthy of your time. If this video was helpful to you, 
do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel thank you